So in this video, what we're going to cover is uh, using the set height tool. So we had a look at that in an earlier video where we set the height of a big chunk of our terrain just to have something there. But what we're gonna look at now is the way that you can use the set height tool along with the raise and lower terrain in order to make things a little bit more livable. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is let's zoom out a little bit. We wanna grab our raise and lower terrain. Nice big brush. Okay, here we go. Now we've got a couple of hills here. All right. So we've got some hills and bumps, but it doesn't really look like it'll be easy for us to build a town or village while we're here. So what we can do is grab our set height brush, scale things way down. Let's get back to a more usable size. Okay, now what we want to do is shift click and then set that height. And now if we change the opacity, it'll alter how much we're setting the height. You can see we can, we can soften things a little bit there. So once we've set our height and we've made ourselves a, a little flat area for our town to go on, we need to make things look just a little bit more natural. So what we'll do is we'll shift click a different part of the slope, create another one, and then we want to go over this way a little. All right, so we're just going to create a few of these pieces over here. We just want to go just off the edge. Lower that a little bit. There we go. We'll do the same halfway down here. We'll extend out this way. And then we'll grab our, our smooth height. We want to change the height of our smoothing brush a little. So the width here, what that changes is exactly how far we're going to the blur, so what area are we sampling from? So let's just smooth out those edges a little bit. All right. Now let's put our grass on to see things a little more clearly. And now we've got a few different areas that are mostly flat that we can then populate and bring some life into in order to bring things into the world. But you can freely switch between those tools and it's a really smart move to, to jump between one and the next just so you can get things where you want them. Put a bump there, sample that, here we go. We can bring him out. And then we just want to smooth that out. All right, there we go. There's how to use a couple of different tools on the terrain in order to sculpt things into the shape you want. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, a huge thanks to my patrons for making all this possible.